Hi, I'm Aaron Novishin from The Culinary Edge. Uh, the Culinary Edge works with global restaurant brands, uh, helping create new concepts and also helping existing brands to evolve uh, via food and guest experience and operations. You know, there's so much innovation happening and growth in this area of the world, and Dubai in particular. And, you know, we're here to, you know, share some of our learnings and understanding and knowledge of best practices in the United States and with the companies that we've worked with and the brands that we've developed. Uh, and also here to, um, you know, meet, meet folks, uh, network with them, and be able to provide um, insights to uh, help them grow their businesses. I think there's a really a big convergence right now uh, in, in, into the middle more. You know, fine dining has had a, a quite a big run, and there's a lot of the fast feeders have done what they're doing. And right now, um, you know, elevated quality is still really in demand, yet convenience and accessibility is something that people also want. So, you know, if you're a fine dining celebrity chef, what is your offering that is going to help democratize your food and get it out more to the masses? And, and that's really what's scalable. You know, fine dining is difficult to scale. You know, you could have one off, but the investment model's not great. Being, how do you scale a brand, you know, Danny Meyer scaling Shake Shack, you know, that's something that's meaningful and interesting. How are other fine dining brands going to be able to do that? And then how are the quick service brands going to improve their food quality and be more meaningful to the needs of guests? Yeah, I mean, I think what's, you know, really exciting, what's happening in, in the States right now is really this elevated fast casual uh, and brands like Sweet Greens or Urban Plates, um, you know, are really doing a great job in the fast casual side and in elevated casual, you know, brands like Yard House or, you know, our company Pacific Catch really tapping into that elevated experience yet still accessible, the kind of restaurants that are going to be busy every day of the week. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's incredible here, you know, the, the amount of growth and, and need, you know, when you've got, you know, 40,000 hotel rooms being built in the next five years and, you know, virtual cities, the biggest mall in the world, you know, things of that nature where the need for brands, the need for innovation and, and the desire to invest in what's the best of the best is, is available here. Uh, it's an area of the world that people really need to pay attention to. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, the mission is, you know, making food better, right? And when, when we say making food better, it's, you know, better tasting, it's more profitable, it's more relevant, it's uh, more, it's healthier. Um, all those types of things we think about what we're passionate about and in, in how we make food better for brands and for the, the population. It's funny in the, in the KISS example is you've got a rock star getting into the restaurant business. Uh, uh, Gene Simmons is the guy from KISS and he's created a, a brand called Rock and Brews which is which is scaling now uh, throughout the United States. But I think you know the Food Network and so much food on television has really ex you know um, brought food to the masses and, and everyone wants to be a chef everyone's you know taking pictures of their their latest meal and you know people have to eat three times a day so this is something that people are always doing they want an elevated experience doing it and they look up to what's the best of the best and, and the chefs are are their new rock stars as you say you know this has been a great conference I'm uh, very excited to participate in it and uh, look forward to you know coming back in the future